Oh, All right. She had a fire. What's your situation? Ah, I'm transporting CC of 137. Okay, good first practice. Time distance shielding. Dose drops off by a factor of four when you double the distance from the source. One container spilled. What's cesium? Spilled. Cesium is a metal. It's sealed in a double encapsulated stainless steel capsule. It would require extreme force to do that. Seven. They're using radiotherapy machines. It's radioactive material. That's true. It's a beta and gamma emitter with about a 30 year half life. It's also a fission product. Help us! Why aren't you helping no, no, us? We will, we will, we will. We are, we are trying to, but we need you to put that window back down right now. What is it? Okay. All right, they're controlling the situation. Okay, it's cesium-137, and it's a radioactive material. Okay. Okay, good. Ah! Sir, 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 sir! It's not sir, it's Carl. That oh, man no. is a few minutes away. Just stay where you are. We all know someone has to move that thing so the kids don't get exposed. Yeah. All right, no, it doesn't radiate like a heat lamp. Unless the capsule is breached and dust is spreading, the kids on the bus or the fire department are not in any immediate danger. In real life, if it did breach, first responders would use remotely operated tongs, robots, or long-handled tools. Nobody needs to handle it. You can get in there and rescue them? Yes, but listen! But listen to what? And I've already been exposed. Let me... No, radiation is not instantly terminal like he implies. Unless this guy was handling an unshielded cesium for hours or days, he'll be all right. This, I want to make my life a little shorter so that you and those kids will live longer ones. No, Carl. False dilemma. Use a robot. Let me do this. And now we got a dramatic montage. I had to mute this for copyright reasons, but no. Okay, <laughs> it would be stored in something way stronger than that. Yeah, this is totally unnecessary and not even remotely realistic. 